Hey guys, today I'm gonna attempt to take you along on a day in the life working at a hot springs resort. I say attempt because I don't know if I have permission to do this, but um, I guess it's better to ask forgiveness afterward. Anyway, I'm not gonna be doing anything wrong. There's lots of guests here, so I definitely don't want to be including them in any of the videos. Um, I'm just gonna take you along and show you what I do for work here in exchange for a parking spot. This is our free parking spot. It is not beautiful by any means, but um, we do get access to water and electricity and sewer. So that's a really big positive. In last week's vlog, I had mentioned that they had me on the 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. shift, but this week they've had me on the 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. shift, and I love it so much more. I just feel like I can get so much more done and like people say like, oh, well, you're done at 1 p.m. You've got the rest of the day to do what you need to do. I'm so tired at 1 p.m. I don't want to do anything the rest of the day, especially when it's hot like it has been. So I love this shift a lot more and you guys are going to come along with me. Let's go. This is our common room. I just come into the common room, make sure the coffee is good, it's all good, it's clean in here. So I'm gonna move on to the bathrooms and the private tubs. We have two showers here. I have one other shower to do here, and this is my favorite part of my whole job, honestly. Is the water piles up on the floor. Oh, so satisfying. Clean both of them and sweep and take the trash out. with time I cleaned the bathroom. As you can see, I did all these yesterday and the day before. This is what I do before entering the men's room. Housekeeping. It always smells so here. So it's gone on radio. Men's bathroom is clean. So this is one of our private soaking tubs. People can rent these out for an hour. And my job now, since somebody used it, is to clean it and put the water back in. Basically just sanitize everything. She's full. Makes me want to go in. Now I'm checking the temp of the other private pools. I think there's five private pools total, so this is at 100, so 
That doesn't need adjusting. This tub is a fan favorite because everyone loves stepping down these steps for some reason. Okay, so let's see. Yep, this one's at 102. So they also have a bunch of cabins, teepees, different like experiential type of dwellings you can stay in. And some of those have private tubs as well. So this is the regular public pond. And this is the lobster pot. This is the pump house. It's nothing special. Um, but we have to come in here to control the temperatures of the water. So the pool outside, the big pool, public pool, is supposed to be at 102 degrees. Right now it's at about 100, so I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. And I got this whole like low down on this yesterday. So let's see. So right now this is zero, this is off. And then I have to turn it, so I'm gonna turn it from zero to one, I think, and monitor that for a while and see how the temperature goes. So this is another part of our job, is we have to monitor the pool temps. So right now, the regular pond is at 102.4, which is good. Um, Where's the lobster pot? The lobster pot is at 104, so that's a little high, but good. So I basically just repeat that process every hour of cleaning the bathrooms and cleaning the showers. decided I'm gonna take a 10 minute break because I get my lunch after I do pool cleaning from four to five. I've been asked to get some cases of water. They're in here. I'm gonna get them. Just checking the bathrooms and showers one more time before I have to get in the pool and scrub it. And this one does not look bad at all, so I'm gonna mark it off. Someone used this private soaking tub that I showed you a bit earlier. So they pulled the plug, which is awesome, because sometimes they don't. And I'm gonna spray it down and scrub it and refill it. plug back in like I sometimes do and I turn both of them on. I'm in the pump house so it might be loud um, but on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays we we're supposed to get in the pool and clean it it's like 80 degrees right now and I was cleaning yesterday it was a Tuesday so I didn't have to get in the pool, but I was like scrubbing the sides of the pool. That's because they don't treat this pool with any chemicals, it's a natural pond. But I was cleaning yesterday and I'm like bent over, like scrubbing on the sides of the pool and these people are like, your back must hurt. And, um, but anyway, there was some talk on the radio, but yes, my back did hurt. I told them my back hurt. And um, they were like, why don't you just like take your shoes and socks off and like, just walk along the edge because there's like seating. So I was like, you know what? That's really, really smart. Plus I just asked my manager on the radio if um, I could just like not get in the pool. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's just for mornings. So I don't have to get in the 100 degree water when it is 80 degrees outside. <laughs> This is 
just the kiddie pool, and it's like always so gross. There's like no filtration system for it. I spent yesterday trying to clean it, but clearly did nothing. <laughs> out as a pond cleaner. Pond cleaners get paid a little extra and I just clocked back in as a campist. It's about five o'clock now. I'm doing the bathrooms and the showers and I'll probably take my lunch after this. My lunch, my dinner, I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes I get wrapped up in things and I just want to finish them and get them done. Now I'm taking my lunch break. Going back to work. These shifts go by so fast for me, I love it. like I have not had enough time to do anything today um, but this is one of the private tub rooms and I'm about to clean this. Silly me, I'm like why isn't this filling? Forgot the plug. Like I said I can do. Taking out the trash at night. finished up my shift and this is the best part of the day. I get to brief Ian on how my shift went and clock out as he's clocking in. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did the best I could. I am going to blur out any of the names of the place because of legalities and to keep our privacy. Not that we have a large following. No one's going to come looking for us but Mostly legalities. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we found BT. His name's BT and it stands for bent tail. He can't see his tail, <laughs> but he actually has a bent tail.